Hi everyone! Today is the second part of Human Design Basics. This time we will cover non-energy types, which are projectors and reflectors. If you want to check out other three types, which are manifestors, manifesting generators and generators, I will put a link to that video in the description box below. If you're new to human design and don't have your chart ready, go and type human design chart in Google and just pause this video until you do so. Okay, so the chart that you got probably looks something like that. Read what it says under the type and you're good to go. My name is Barchi. I'm a gentle guide here to inspire, empower and support you to be your most precious authentic self. Let's talk about projectors first. Their strategy is to wait for an invitation and we'll get to that in a second. So this is an example of a projector's chart. Every projector has a sacral center undefined, the same as manifestors. What differentiates them from manifestors is that they don't have any of the motors, which are sacral, emotional, heart and root center, connected to throat. Furthermore, throat center doesn't even need to be defined to be a projector. So I hope this is clear. If not, please do ask me some questions in the comment below. There is approximately 20% of projectors in the world. Given that rules were written by manifestors, 70% of the world population are generators, leaves us with the type which is most conditioned of all. And that is why I find it so important that we empower projectors, understand and support them as much as we can. Okay, so many projectors are struggling to be as energy efficient as generators, which is something they can never win in the long run, nor that they should. They aren't here to work in the classical setting. They really aren't. In the ideal world, they would provide guidance to generators on how to direct their powerful energy. Because projectors are here to know the others and hence, they see or recognize them very well. All right, so projectors need to find and see that their gift isn't in quantity. Their gift is, it, is in providing a valuable service or product which shouldn't be based on time. And they should never think they're lazy because they're definitely not. Because of their aura, they see and read other people's energy well. And check my video on auras to learn more about it. So an invitation is the key for projectors. And as might sound daunting, waiting for invitation simply means being aligned with their authority. That doesn't mean they should be still and passively waiting for the world to notice them. Not at all. That means they should do what they love, share the things with others and make, them, make themselves visible without any agenda. And I spoke about this in a video that I will also tag below. So the important, the most important advice I could give to any projector is you are not for everyone and that's okay. Leave these people out of your life people who don't belong there, who don't appreciate you for who you are. And once you start following your authority, the right people will want to be with you and you will be in a position to choose. So this is where you should be, not in a mode where you feel dependent on others, but in charge of your gifts. Value yourself, my dear projector, and take a lot of naps. <laughs> That's an order. Okay, much love to you and let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Let's check reflectors now. 
So reflectors are a special bunch. There is just 1% of reflector population. Their strategy is to wait for a lunar cycle to turn so they can experience all the energy transits in their system. The way you recognize their chart is that it has no defined centers. Everything is white, which makes them incredibly wise and surprisingly not as conditioned as other types with open centers, because their aura protects them from being so. They have a sampling aura, which means they get to experience the environment and can show us what it reflects or rather in what state the environment is. So I also made a video on that, so I'll link it below. So hence, it's important for them to be in the right place with the right people because they do mirror back at us what they experience. They also need to have alone time, preferably somewhere in nature where they can fill up their well. Because of their undefined centers, they need to express themselves and get to know themselves in others. Hence, they can speak a lot and you should let them speak and support them in expressing themselves. This is probably one of your best gifts you can provide to them, being their sounding board and listen to what they have to say. They're very pleasant to be around and they can sense someone's potential quite easily. They're wonderful in working with groups, amazing facilitator, facilitators, as they come across very non-intrusive and non-judgmental. They are here to help us build cooperative and peaceful communities for all of us to thrive in. Working within the right communities is their source of happiness it's where their heart belongs. They are also very sensitive to everything related to humanity and the environment and can suffer deeply in the times of crisis. Okay, thank you for listening. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And like or subscribe if you want to. I would really appreciate that. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.